parachute jump is always the best parachute jump. I guess that's why I was so excited the day we first arrived here. Not that we were actually parachuting anywhere, but we were chalking up some seriously major firsts. I mean, like, it's our first time in a foreign country, our first time in a real-life castle, and our first time living away from home. Oh, yeah, and it was also the first time we'd ever been away from our parents for so long. I miss them already. Hey, they'll only be in Switzerland. We should have never agreed to this. Four months is way too long. Don't prejudge things. You're always jumping to conclusions before you give things a proper chance. Think positive. I hate positive. Positive is for losers. Now then, shall we move inside? We'll take it to your rooms and then show you around. Thanks, that'd be nice. Oh, uh, Mum asked me to give you this. Excuse me, Baron. A message from Sophie. There's a man at the cafe who wishes to meet you. Honestly, Marcus, I can't be expected to attend everyone who comes through the gate. Tell Sophie to say I'm busy. She gave me his card. Some tires, some tourists. The bank manager? The new one? He arrived in town yesterday. Why didn't you tell me it was him? I just did. He must be here to discuss the loan we've asked for. If we don't get it, we're in serious trouble. Daddy, he's a simple bank manager. Of course he'll give us the loan. We're from Hasenburgs. You're right. Still, it's important to make a good impression. Darling, I'll leave our guests with you. Um, Baron von Hasenburg? Yes, yes, I'll get it later then. Don't mind, Daddy. Little things like money always stress him. I hope we haven't come at a bad time for you. Oh, we always have money problems. Owning a castle's very expensive, you know. No, I didn't know. <laughs> we haven't owned very many. <laughs> Joke. <laughs> Not a very good one, I know. Uh, but they'll be better, though, once the jet lag wears off. Right. Let's go to your rooms. Great. Sure. I'll leave those. Marcus will take care of them. Won't you, Marcus? Uh, can do. I'll just take my laptop. It's my lifeline. Can't bear to be away from it. Shall we? Good morning, good morning. Philip von Hasenburg at your service, sir. Welcome to our humble little home. I'm delighted to meet you. Uh, thank you. And I'm pleased to meet you too, Baron. <laughs> Sophie? Two coffees to table three straight away, will you? Oh, Baron, could I just... Straight up, wait. Yes, sir. No, I'm sure you want to get straight down to discussing our finances, right? Why, yes. Nothing would give me greater pleasure. Oh, the pleasure is all mine. <laughs> this is some place you've got. It's home. A real castle. I can't believe we're actually going to live here. How cool is this going to be? When was it built? Oh, it dates back to the 12th century, but most of what you see now was constructed about 200 years ago. <laughs> so, roughly as old as Sam's sense of fashion. But not nearly as old as some of Ben's jokes. <laughs> Maybe I should help Marcus with the luggage. Nonsense. You're right, aren't you, Marcus? Fine, thanks. <laughs> How many rooms are there? No idea. I've never counted them. So you don't use them all, then? Heavens no. What would we do with them? Don't you provide holiday accommodation to foreign students? We had one a couple of years ago. He played his music so loud that Daddy told him to leave. He's banned students ever since. Uh, but how come he's letting us stay? Your family. Daddy always makes exception for family. We're very distant family, about ten times removed. That doesn't matter. There's so few von Hasen books left that Daddy's thrilled to have anyone who's related. Even Australians. Room, Ben. Thanks. It's um, yeah. And you're in here, Sam. Thanks. It'll be fine, I'm sure. The bathroom's around the corner. You don't mind sharing? No, not at all. I was beginning to think you got lost. Sorry, nearly there. I'll give you some time to unpack, and then we'll meet up later to see the castle, OK? Great. Thanks so much. No problem. So, um, are you part of the family here too, Marcus? Me? No, I'm just here for work experience. Really? What kind of work experience? Personal assistant to the Baron. And Lily, of course. Marcus, can you hurry it up? Coming. It's better go. <laughs> See you later. Sure. Thanks again, Marcus. He's 
rooms are like prison cells. What's your problem? They spent a zillion bucks to build a castle, but the rooms are like some cheap outback hotel. 300 years ago, this was the outback. Yeah, well, if this is the best they could do, it's no wonder there's no aristocracy anymore. They all died of boredom staring at their walls. So I can assure you that with just a small amount of help from the bank, our financial future is definitely rosy. In the pink, as they say. <laughs> <laughs> you paint a very convincing picture, Baron. Oh, it's wonderful to meet a man of your understanding. <laughs> Now, I expect you'd like me to show you around the castle. That would be very nice. Are you sure you have the time? I'm entirely at your disposal. Excellent. <laughs> oh, uh, Baron von Hasenburg, could I please have a word? Excuse me a moment. Yes, what is it? I was hoping you could take us on a tour of your castle now. I'm sorry? Oh, just a brief one, if that's all right. So, sir, would like a tour, would he? Yeah, very much. Anything else? A butler to accompany us with a tray of drinks? A nurse made for the children? Perhaps some slaves to carry your wife in a chair? Oh, I don't think... Exactly. People these days never think. Look, there'll be an official tour starting in three hours. Tickets are available for 10 euros each. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have things to do. Uh, Sophie, what are you doing with those? You told me to take them to the Australians. Oh, yes, but be back here as quick as you can. <laughs> Is there something in your eye, Baron? No. I want you to keep a close eye on that family there. They're a bunch of freeloaders. Uh, but Baron... I know their type. They'll go all around the castle, then sneak out without pain. But, sir... Trust me, Sophie. The one thing I know about is people. I can smell cheats a mile away. Yes, sir. And make sure they buy their tickets. We need every euro we can get. Yes, sir. We shall I pay for the coffee? Well, pay? Oh, don't be silly. What's a few euro, huh? <laughs> Thank you very much. This is seriously bad news. There's no way I can spend four months in there. Stop stressing. It'll be fine once you get all your things in place. It's all so dull. Then ask if you can put some pictures on the walls. And so cramped. I can die of claustrophobia. You've got a whole castle to romp around. What more do you want? seen someone do a complete U-turn in five seconds flat, but if you haven't, then stand by. And I should warn you, this won't be a pretty sight. Hi, Ben and Sam, right? I'm Sophie, I work at the cafe here. Nice to meet you. <laughs> Hi, Ben. Hi, I'm Ben. I think I figured that. Ha, ha. I guess it is pretty obvious. Great to meet you, Sophie. Terrific, really good. It's nice to see you're such a positive person. You bet. Positive is my middle name. You want positive? It doesn't get more positive than me. Great. Ben, why don't you let go of Sophie's hand so she can give us the towel she's gone to so much trouble to bring here? Oh, yeah, sure. Sorry. I'm afraid some of these old rooms might be a bit boring. No, no, no. It'll be fine once I start putting my things in place. <sighs> but it's so dull. Nothing a few pictures on the wall can fix. And so cramped, I hope you don't die of claustrophobia. No way! Not when we have a whole castle to romp around. You really are positive, aren't you? It'll be fun having you both here. You can count on it. <sighs> well, guess I'd better start knocking the old room into shape then. Sounds like a positively positive thing to do, Ben. Do you think all brothers are like that, or is it just Ben? <laughs> Don't answer that. It's just Ben. Sorry we kept you. We went the wrong way. Got completely lost. And I was just finding my way back from the bathroom. <laughs> I thought we'd start with the gardens first. Perfect. It's exactly how I would do it. Not that I've ever taken anyone through a castle before. Not that I've ever been in a castle before. But if I had, and I did, then I would. Ben? Yeah? Shut up. Right. Please, follow me. Galaxies away tonight. We'll go beyond our space and time. Touch the stars, the moon is ours. And gravity won't pull us down. Feel a little weightlessness as we approach the upper west. On a mission to... Yeah.
portraits are members of the family. They go back nearly four centuries. Wow, that's some tradition. Lots of soldiers. Your family big on fighting? In the old days, there was always some sort of war going on. People had to be strong. I can see that. This one looks as tough as old boot leather. That's my mother. <laughs> Actually, what I meant was uh, this picture frame. <laughs> this frame is so tough. I mean, can you believe it, Sam? No, Ben. I can't believe it. Amazing. And what an attractive woman. I can really see where you get your looks from, Lily. Ben? Yeah? Can you do something useful? Like, find the nearest cliff to jump off? <laughs> and that about wraps it up. I hope you've enjoyed our little tour. It's been most instructive. Thank you very much indeed. Baron von Hasenburg. Good grief. This fellow just won't go away. Uh, please, I really must have a quick word. It won't take long. I'm so sorry about this. Go ahead, Baron von Hasenburg. I've taken enough of your time. I'll find my own way out. Are you sure? Absolutely. Thank you again. My pleasure. I look forward to a long and productive relationship. Huh? <laughs> what is it, man? And where's your family? I hope those children aren't running around unsupervised. Any breakages must be paid for, you know? It's all right. My wife's putting them back in the car. We're about to leave. Excellent. Look, I know how busy you are, but... Baron von Hassenberg. Baron, there's an urgent call for you. Yes, yes. I'll be there in a minute. It's the police, sir. The police? They said it's very important. Whatever it is you wanted, we'll have to wait, I'm afraid. Now, if you'll excuse me. What could the police possibly want with us? They say there's a con man in the area. A con man? Apparently, he's very clever. He's tricked all sorts of people into giving him their valuables. Ha! Any fraudster who tries to trick the von Hasenburgs will get more than he bargains for. A lot more. So, your mother, how does she enjoy living in a castle? She thinks it's a gloomy old tomb. She has a flat in town. Oh. Besides, she and Daddy always argue when they live in the same place. Since Mummy moved, they get along so much better. They're really happy now. Really? And I get the fun of living in two homes. Summer up here and winter in town. What could be better? Sounds cool. <laughs> um, should I show you how to connect to the internet? That'd be great. Thanks, Marcus. Something wrong? Ben, did you move my laptop? Why would I do that? It's gone. I left it right there on the desk. Someone must have stolen it. Marcus, get Daddy. Hurry. You were right to be concerned, Sophie. The police think that Frostar might be headed this way. Oh, really? Now, it's nothing to be worried about, but if you see anyone suspicious looking, come and get me straight away. Yes, sir. Excuse me, Baron. Lily needs you to come quickly. Honestly, as if I don't have enough to deal with. How will I know if someone looks suspicious? What? What exactly does a suspicious person look like? Well, well, they... The thing to notice is that when you look at them, they never look you in the eye. If you see someone like that, be on your closest guard. Right. This is outrageous. When did you discover this? Two minutes before you got here. All my music data and software's on it. Everything my friends and I have been working on for months. We better notify the police immediately. Whoever took it might still be... Still be what? He's scumbag! I was only asking. It's him! I knew it! As soon as I saw him, I knew he was trouble. He's been pestering me all morning to show him the castle. Clearly, he just wanted to see what he could lay his grubby hands on. And when Lily was showing us around, I saw him in the courtyard. But I didn't think much of it at the time, but he was acting really strangely, like he was looking for someone. Ha! Huh. Or something. And then I saw him run inside the doorway, the one leading to our rooms. Obviously to commit theft. What can we do? There's not a moment to lose. Marcus, I want you to take a message to that fellow. The rest of you come with me. We'll soon see who has the last laugh. Excuse me? Yes, what is it? Baron von Hasenburg apologizes for the inconvenience he's caused you today. He asks if he could meet with you now. Oh, thank you, but I think I've had quite enough of Baron von Hasenburg's hospitality for one day. He said he'd very much like to meet with you as soon as he finishes counting the money. The money? He's very old-fashioned, you know. He likes to keep most of his cash here in the castle. He doesn't trust banks. Really? It won't take long. And we can provide transport back to town for you. Go ahead, darling. I text the children. See you at home. I'll be as quick as I can. Now, Ben, you know what to do? Yes. Suddenly, I've got a wheezy feeling in my stomach. It seemed like a good idea before when we were all fired up, but catching criminals isn't really my thing. 
I mean, what if the guy's a complete nutcase or something? Are you really sure about this man, Daddy? Darling, I know a crook when I see one, and he's as crooked as a bent nail. It's just through here, sir. Quick, everybody in position. And act naturally. Baron von Hasenburg. My dear fellow, how kind of you to come. I must say, I find this all very irregular. Oh, oh, don't worry. Everything will be clear in a moment. Come in. I believe you prefer to keep your money here rather than in the bank. Yes, it's there in the corner. Is it? Where? Look closely, and you'll see how secure it is. Now! What's going on? So you thought you could trick us, did you? Just walk in and take whatever possesses you like from right on our noses. What are you talking about? Using those breaths of yours to present yourself as a family man was very clever. I admit it. I was almost fooled for a minute, but the game's up, my friend. We know who you are. You are crazy. Let me out of here. I'll get used to it if I were you. You'll be spending a lot more time behind bars from now on. Baron von Hausenberg? The police emailed a picture of the con man. He was at the castle. And he's still here. Safely locked away. Con man? What con man? Oh, let me refresh your memory. Familiar? No? The face you see in the mirror every day of your miserable little life. I've only ever seen it this morning. <laughs> really? Yes, when you were showing me around the castle. Exactly. I what? Sophie, why have you given me the picture of the bank manager? He's the bank manager. Him? I tried to tell you earlier, but you're too busy being nice to that con... that man. My laptop case! Oh, sorry. Where did you find it? He gave it to me. He did? I found it in the garden on my way to the car. It looked valuable, so I took it back to the cafe and handed it to the young lady there. My laptop's missing. What happened to it? Well, I'm sorry. That was all I found. You're the bank manager? That's why I was trying to speak to you all the time. The wife, the children. Well, as it was our first meeting, I thought we'd combine a little business with pleasure. Get to know each other. <laughs> you didn't really think... <laughs> I honestly thought you were... <laughs> oh dear. He's going to faint. What? There's nothing to worry about. He always does it when things don't work out. Here, Baron. Thank you, Marcus. Well, overall, I'm afraid to say your finances aren't exactly strong, Mr. Van Hasenburg. But if your bank can give us the loan we're asking for, I'm certain we have an excellent future ahead. Well, a new loan will be very difficult. You still owe 3,000 on your previous one. 3,000? Now, which is due to be repaid at the end of this week. This week? Okay, having helped dig everyone into this hole, maybe I can at least start helping them climb back out of it. Oh, uh, Baron? What is it, Ben? The letter from Mum. Oh, please. Now isn't the time to... We really think you should open it, Baron. <laughs> I'm sure your Mum's sentiments are very nice, but... 4,000 euros? Mum and Dad wanted to help towards the cost of our stay here. If you don't think it's enough, then uh, we... No! No, thank you. It's absolutely enough. Don't you think so, Mr. Schwarzer? Well, it sounds like it's more than enough. So you'll give us the loan? I can't see why not. But I will need a business plan. Business plan? We could use my business plan, sir. Yours? The one I sent to you as part of my application for the position here. Oh. Do you mean this? Couldn't understand a word of it. Is this really the sort of thing he wants? Shall I give it to him? We don't have anything else. Do what you must. I'm sure you'll find everything you need in here, sir. Cash flow projections, a summary of the castle's financial strengths and weaknesses, and proposals for increasing and diversifying revenue streams for the future. Excellent. This is exactly what we need. Baron von Hasenburg, I look forward very much to doing business with you. Oh, thank you. A and about the mix-up with you and your Delightful children. Oh, please, think no more about it. And I do hope you get your computer back. Thanks. I'm really sorry about, you know, accusing you of... Oh, not at all. It was a very understandable mistake. <laughs>
Right now, I don't know whether to be angry or sad. Angry that I made such a fool of myself by accusing an innocent man of stealing, or sad that my laptop's gone and I'm in seriously deep doo-doo. Whatever way you look at it, this has not been Samantha Hazelton's finest day. The taxi's gone. Mr. Schrotz is safely on his way. Thank goodness. At least we managed to get that right. And have you been to your room yet, Sam? No. Should I? I think you most definitely should. Well, what do you think? I don't believe it. Who? How? The police brought it back. They called the call man on his way into town after I called them. <laughs> you called them? But how did you know it was him? You told me. I did? You said to be suspicious of anybody who didn't look me in the eye. Aha! Uh -huh. And he didn't, right? No, he did. When he ordered a coffee this morning, he kept looking straight into my eyes. It was really weird. So when I saw him leaving, I thought about what you said and called the police. So it was actually the reverse of what I said. But, Daddy, it was so terribly clever of you to think of that whole idea in the first place. Oh, yes. I suppose it was, wasn't it? Sophie, you're brilliant. Thank you so much. Well, I don't know about anyone else, but all this defending of truth and justice has made me hungry. Any chance of a pie and sauce around here? No, but I'm sure we can run to Sauerbraten and Knödel. I don't know what that is, but if it's food, I'm up for it. Right. Follow me, everyone. So, Ben, still think we shouldn't have come here? Me? I never thought that for a second. Honestly, Sam, where do you get these weird ideas from? <laughs> hey, Sophie, that was really cool work. Well done. Well, there you go. Crime solved, bank loan fixed, Ben happy to stay here. And me? Well, after my little effort, I promise never again to criticise Ben for jumping to conclusions. What am I saying? Of course I'll criticise him. He's my brother, isn't he?